Hey everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I want to walk through some of the different ways to offer upsell options to your customers um, for your online store. Now, the first one I want to talk about um, is, off is putting an offer right on the checkout page. So, if somebody goes through your your product list, your catalog, starts adding products to the cart, and then when they're finally ready to check out, they click on check out and some different options, perhaps a special offer, for example, it could be available right on the checkout page as as shown here. And that's as simple as putting in the short code for um, a particular product that you want to add there. And that's all it takes to add that. And also I want to talk about um, different upsell options using this type of scenario. So a customer's on this website, they're getting some free content, for example, and then they decide they want to upgrade, so they start at the beginning of the upsell funnel. And the upgrade would be to be able to purchase the audio recordings that they've been listening to um, through the series of this summit. So they can purchase those here, but then they also go through and continue on with the process. So I'll show you if they add to the cart, and then they can view the cart right away or they can just continue on through the process. Um, now they can choose if they want to buy some transcripts, for example. And then they can go through, keep going through, and choose different options, choose different products along the way. Until finally at the end, all the um, the bars are filled and then they end up on the checkout as the next option. And that's it. So it's just sort of um, different pages throughout the process during the upgrade. All right, another way here is um, here's another example using bundles. Um, so this particular page has a list of several different ebooks that are available for sale at twenty dollars nineteen ninety seven each and there's six of them but at the very top there's a bundle package that offers all six of them for a lower price so a lot of times um, if someone wants more than one it makes more sense to purchase the the whole bundle right, so that's another upsell option there and it really um, creating a bundle package is very simple. It's just the same as creating any product um, in WP Store, for example. You just create a you create a product, and then when you're choosing the file, um, in this case, I, I choose a PDF file for the customer to download after the purchase. But in this case, I actually zipped up all the PDFs and put it into one one product. So the the actual file that they download is a zip file containing all six ebooks. All right, another option here is using coupons. Um, you can have automatic discount coupons, for example. And here's an example. Right here it says spend $25 or more and get 25% off all of the items in your cart. Now, to do that, to set that up, you just go to WPE store and then coupons and discounts. Um, of course, the the software that you use is gonna is gonna require this feature. But if you're using WPE Store, this is how you do it. So then you go to the coupons discount section, and then you turn on the automatic discount settings option. And for this one here, I had to create a coupon, and what I did is create one um, that offers 25% off every product. And so then when I, I set it up for automatic discounts, I put um, if the subtotal is over $25 then automatically apply this coupon code and that's the coupon code there that I created and it shows up right there so if we look at it here we can click on add to cart and we can see let me buy three of those and we can see automatically that the discount was applied um, since I since I was spending more than twenty five dollars, it knocked off twenty twenty five percent. All right, and then there's another way um, to use coupons. For for example, in this in this case, I created one a customer only coupon for ten percent off. And 
Again, there's different ways to apply this depending on what software you're using, but for WPE Store, you can put that information in this text box here. Um, here's your coupon code for next time you uh, for the next time you visit our store, use this coupon code for 10% off. It's a customer only coupon code. And you can put that directly on the thank you page, but if you want it set up, if you're using WP Store, if you want it W if you want it set up so that it only shows up on the thank you page upon a successful transaction then you would put that information in this box here and all right that's it that's all i have for today again this is keith from tips and tricks hq thanks for watching